Yeah, we do begin tonight with breaking news. This coming to us out of Carlsbad, where a vehicle, a car, uh, looks like it is right there in the uh, ocean off of Palomar Airport Road and Carlsbad Boulevard. And the man uh, who presumably was driving that vehicle is being rescued right now. Uh, they have a ton of rescue personnel on scene. There's about uh, a couple dozen people who are down there on the beach uh, with this person and trying to get them uh, up that hill. Uh, what we do know is this happened with Within uh, the last hour or so at Palomar Airport Road. And as Sky Fox is above the scene, we can see through that ice plant uh, not only a fence that was broken through, a guardrail as well. So the presumption is that potentially this driver uh, went through a guardrail, went through all that ice plant, went through a fence, and ended up down that hill, uh, down that cliff right there with the vehicle landing on the beach, which is now uh, being washed up by the ocean. The person uh, of interest certainly is the person who was, uh, the person in the car is on that uh, board right now, rescue personnel working to get, uh, we believe a man, this man uh, up through one of these gullies to try to get him up to the top and uh, so they can be treated. Uh, we don't know the extent of injuries. We don't know if anybody else was in the vehicle, but from everything we have seen with Sky Fox above that area, uh, there's only one person that they have been focused on here, and it is this person uh, as they are now. The, the, the goal is to get him up that gully and up to the top of the cliff so they can get him to a hospital to be treated. A, a you know, disturbing scene there, obviously, to see a vehicle like that uh, in the ocean. Not something we often see, but something that, that, that does happen rarely from time to time. I uh, do want to bring in uh, our Brad Wills. Brad, you're tracking um, the tide. That's going to be an issue as far as the vehicle goes. Uh, their focus is not on the vehicle right now, but it is there in the ocean. Yeah, so if you look at the tide right now, it's coming up against the wall. We are at low tide at just about noon, so this high tide is going to fill in through about 640, and you're looking at about a 3.7, so it's not a super high tide, but boy, if you're out there at noon, that was uh, all sand and now we're looking at the water coming up on the uh, the vehicle now. So, you know, if we were talking about situations like this being a king tide, we've got a super high tide, then you're talking about a car possibly underwater, and that makes it a little trickier, you know, to get somebody out of there. So the good news is it's not a super high tide, and it's just now filling in up to the uh, bluff area right there at about a 3.7. Andrew. Right. Yeah, Brad, appreciate that very much. And you can see, I think you can kind of see there in the bottom right, it's kind of hard to tell exactly where the fencing is. Uh, specifically that it looks like it was knocked down. But uh, if Sky Fox ultimately does pull out, um, you'll see a little bit further to the right, a guardrail that was taken out as well. Palomar Airport Road uh, kind of swerves to the north as you come off Palomar Airport Road and uh, come onto Carlsbad Boulevard. It, uh, it veers north, so this driver, it appears, went straight through across traffic through a guardrail. On the right side, you might see that there through that ice plant, through a fence, and off the cliff. So uh, clearly a uh, you know, major problem that, that may have happened behind the wheel that led to this vehicle uh, ending up where it did. Phil Blower, you've been watching this as well. What are you seeing? Yeah, same thing, Andrew. Basically, right now they're in the uh, rescue stage. There. They're trying to hoist that gentleman up the hillside. We were trying to speculate there. Those, those, uh, that depth of distance there is about 35 or 40 feet. Here's the part of the fencing right there where the gentleman went through. And then you see the guardrail toward the top of your screen where that whole thing began going through the ice plant and then coming over across that trail and thank goodness nobody was walking there. Uh, that area of road is shut down right now obviously because all the emergency personnel in that area. Andrew, but the other thing you know we're wondering here also, it's not only a monumental effort to get him up there, but that once that uh, he's cleared, they've got to get that car up and it's going to get dark within the next hour or so, so it'll be very curious to see how they handle that. But that right now is a, a traffic problem in that area. Uh, hopefully this gentleman's going to be okay. Again, they're going to take him up through that gully. They've got that tripod set up sort of to help with the winch effort there, and then they'll get him to a hospital. They've got several uh, ambulances there on the scene, so and hopefully what, he's going to be yeah, okay. What Sky Fox was just focusing in on was that ice plant. You don't really see tire tracks uh, very easily anyway, an ice plant, because it's such a kind of hardy kind of thing. But it was kind of looking, uh, you may have seen a little bit of an indentation there in the ice plant where it kind of followed the path from Palomar Airport Road through that, uh, that guardrail through the ice plant, and then obviously it went through a fence and down the cliff at that point, kind of at an angle it looks like from where Palomar Airport Road is. You know, drivers generally, you know, not generally, always go uh, northbound, even when they're going southbound. I believe you have to go northbound for a quick second before it kind of U-turns. And so that's the path of traffic. In this case, it looks like this driver went across traffic, went through the guardrail as they now try to hoist this guy uh, up through, you know, these goalies. Uh, a lot of these areas are places where surfers walk down, right? People walk down to get to the beach. They're very difficult 
you know, to get down, uh, depending on which one uh, you pick. And this one is, is the one that they're trying to uh, get this guy up through. Not an easy task, but a lot of people who are working on it uh, right now and trying to get him up to safety. Yeah, and this is a great effort right here, Andrew, between uh, Carlsbad firefighters and also lifeguards, because as you mentioned, this isn't easy. And so you can see the uh, fire uh, units there, fire crews in the yellow, and then you've got the lifeguards there in shorts, but there's sort of a combined effort here, again, using that winch set up to get this person up. Uh, sometimes they call in, of course, aerial support, and they'll you know, uh, take somebody out of there, but that's usually when it's a very desperate situation. They really want to get some of the hospital. So this tells me that perhaps this uh, gentleman is stable, and that's good news. Not perhaps, uh, I'm sure he's probably injured, but to, to the degree of sort of uh, an urgency here to lift him out of there, they're just going to take this route and, and again, take him to the hospital as soon as they can. But it'll be very curious to hear some of the reports from the uh, crews there that are investigating this, exactly how this happened and what led to this uh, incident. You brought up a good point a couple minutes ago, too, is, is you know, that's a place uh, that kind of the bottom part of your screen right now where a lot of people walk as they're either, you know, enjoying the view of the ocean or maybe walking down so they can get down to, um, to one of the areas of the beach or some stairs just a little bit to the north of, of what we're looking right now. And there could have been people walking out there. I almost, you know, can assume that there were people that were walking on that trail. Uh, not only that, but sometimes there are people obviously right down there on the beach. So you can only hope that uh, everybody was able to, to see what was going on. But you have to imagine, given the, uh, the guardrail being as crushed as it was and, and the fact that this vehicle went through all that ice plant, through a fence, that it must have had a lot of momentum when it did come through that area. Yeah, again, this is a situation we see these kind of things that usually someone, if they have a medical emergency, for example, they'll tend to hit the gas instead of the brake. And that's perhaps maybe what happened here. We don't know yet, of course, the uh, Carlsbad police, the lifeguards, and the fire units will be investigating. I'm sure uh, tonight by at least 10 o'clock we'll have a better picture of what's going on. I think we have a crew uh, perhaps that's on the way there and will give us a full report later on. But this is really a yeoman's effort between all these crews to get this gentleman, you know, in and out of that gully and get him up to uh, some sort of rescue vehicle to take him out of here, Andrew. Right. Anytime, you, you know, anybody's gone down those gullies with a surfboard or with, you know, beach personnel, beach, uh, you know, kind of stuff, uh, knows how difficult that can be. So, again, we do have a crew on the way. We will bring you uh, more information as soon as we get it. Uh, here into the Fox 5 newsroom. But in the meantime,